In On Golden Pond, family dynamics take center stage, including an unexpected friendship between a retired professor and a teenager. This story began as a Tony Award winning play and was famously a 1981 movie starring Henry Fonda and Katherine Hepburn. The play is the next offering from the Riverside Center for the Performing Arts in Fredericksburg. Actor Joe Insko stars as Norman and Joyce DeWitt as his wife Ethel. Now you'll remember her from the still popular TV sitcom Three's Company that debuted 40 years ago this year. Also here with us today, the producer artistic director for Riverside Center, Patrick Ahern. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. We've already been having a wonderful conversation <laughs> here. Yep. This is an interesting dynamic. Have the two of you worked together before? Oh, no. No. No, but w as Joyce pointed out a couple of days ago, there's something about the first time we we met, Patrick introduced us, and there was just this little click that's, I know, I can... I know how you work. We, we just there was just to no getting to know you. There was no getting to know you. Time <laughs> we were introduced and we already knew each other. Yeah, but it when I wonderful. mentioned it to wonderful. Joe, wonderful. how would you like to work with Joyce DeWitt? His eyes just lit up. So. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Yeah. And that's got to be so special to make a show like this work, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, first of all, you've got to have superb actors to, to, to do On Golden Pond. And then you hope when you put those two people together that there's this chemistry. I have been peeking in on rehearsals, <laughs> and I, I'm telling you, our audiences are in for a treat because this this transcends right to the to the production. Mm. It's really, really thrilling. It's great. Mm. Is it hard to, to take a role on that's so iconic in a movie that people are so familiar with and then try to translate it to the stage and make it your own? You know, to begin with, it was a stage play. That right, and then, then a movie. The film, and then, so right. it belongs yeah. in the theater. They did a very beautiful movement into film, very uh, true to the script and the material. Um, no, uh, you just sort of don't even think about that. You don't even... Yeah. You know, I saw the movie in the early 80s, like everyone else, mm -hmm. and um, no, you just find that character, you allow that character to tell you who they are and, and, and let that character come through you at some point, and allowing the parts of yourself that are in integrity with that to support that, and it all comes out. You don't, actors I don't think work from the outside in. Some actors do, actually, technical mm -hmm. actors do. But, um, that impression of how it's been done or who there's no piece of theater that hasn't been done a gazillion billion times so you're always going to come up against something that's been done um, but you don't go in with that you mm -hmm. can't go in with that right mm -hmm. your job is to bring the version that would come out of you to the piece that's your primary contribution um, to the audience and creating something fresh to be alive with, yes? That, yes, indeed. Oh, good. And, and, and an advantage, I think, in this case is that the, well, Ernest Thompson wrote both the play and the screenplay for, for the movie. They're very different. Uh, so we're not, we're not having to reproduce exactly what was, we, we couldn't reproduce what's in the movie because it's, there's a lot more humor in the play. Oh my lord, the and play is it, very funny. It's it's not a comedy in the sense it's not supposed to be a comedy, but along with this deep sort of family stuff going on, mm -hmm. these undertones, it's hysterical. You know, the, the audience gets to laugh a good one uh, quite often in it and while they're watching the truth of what it is to have family dynamic moving up and down and in and out and the tensions that happen yeah. with that along the way. It's quite fun. <laughs> it so there indeed. you have it, which is true of life, yes? Right, families can be hilarious I mean, sometimes. There are <laughs> exactly. so. I mean, you laugh at a funeral sometimes, you know, you're embarrassed that you did, but life is very funny. The truth of it and the naked truth of the human condition is very humorous at times. And if we remembered that more often, we probably could carry the weight of our burden. Do you have a line like I that to the boy? Oh my God, we have a darling yep, yep, boy yep. in the play. Oh, oh, yes. the, the play is very generational, which I like. As I've always said to people, I said, I think you should always have friends who are your age, younger than you, and older than you, because it makes your life so mm -hmm. full. And that's kind of like the dynamic in the play. It, it really is. That's a, that's a major uh, uh, element that Thompson uses here. He's got the old guy who's ready to kick off, and the young kid who's bored with life, and they 
come together snarling. Yeah. And Mitchell and, and Joe uh, are so marvelous in those characters. You are. He's such well, a darling young man, a talented young actor. Yeah. But they are marvelous mm. together. And you also have that generation in between with oh, our daughter's yeah. fian uh, boyfriend who it's, comes to visit. Yeah. Um, so there, it's the boy. The young man, the older it's man, so and the supporting it's cast so is just terrific. Oh my I mean, goodness! The, yeah. And and we have a, a brilliant director, Sherry Edelin, mm -hmm. mm. who's a Helen Hayes Award winner. She's uh, she's overseeing this, and she just, it's, uh, I can't say enough. Well, you're there, always you able can't. to get such great talent like Joyce and like Joe. Yeah, it, 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 you know, I think it's important. We have such great audiences at Riverside, and we're pulling audiences from all over the country now, and I think people want to see a quality production, and I have the great job of pulling these great people together. It's so nice to brainstorm and think, and who would be great at this? And, and I mean, I am so honored that Patrick. Uh, Joyce, uh, you know, decided to come on board and do this. It's just, uh, everybody is so excited. When we announced her, social media went nuts at Riverside. <laughs> so uh, everybody is chomping at the bit to see her. And Joe, I mean, I've been following Joe now for probably eight years. And uh, it's, oh, it's, it's an honor Better to look over your shoulder. Too. He's <laughs> 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 uh, Again, our director, Sherry Edelin, I mean, she's so so, she, uh, so much of your audience would know her as a performer rather than as the director because she's very gifted on stage, but she's a wonderful director in every way that you would hope a director would bring themselves to the piece and then cradle you through getting your act together to do it. She's, she, she's marvelous. And Patrick, really, um, what he's done with Riverside, it's become one of the most important regional theaters now in the country, and that really has to do with his working 24 hours a day. <laughs> because I live like right by where they've housed me is right by him, and I see when his car comes and goes, and it's never there. <laughs> um, so, but it is a marvelous theater, and the staff that he—that's the thing, you know. When you have somebody in charge who can gather together amazing people, mm -hmm. the whole staff there, uh, uh, our stage manager, I mean, Joanna <laughs> is just she's magnificent, and they would bring Sherry in to direct our piece. That he brought Joe in. I mean, such this is a very busy actor that his window of opportunity allowed it. Right. It's well, a wonderful organization. Unfortunately, our love fest here has to end right oh, now. Oh, no, sorry, Cheryl. That's okay, thank but you. But we Joyce. love Patrick. We love him. Thank you so much for the preview. And Riverside Center for the Performing Arts presents On Golden Pond, opening October 4th. That's next week and running through the 19th of November. It gives you plenty of time to go back and see it time and time again. Their home stage is in Fredericksburg. We'll put a link to showtimes and ticket information on our website. Just go to W tvr.com slash vtm.